Here we are with Joelle. I met her around seven, eight months ago. So basically I uh, gifted a couple of sections to a charity. She won a, an auction and uh, she came to me probably around February, something like yeah. that, yeah, somewhere like that. She was complaining a pain on her right ITB, iliotibial band. So the pain is on the side of the knee and uh, we had two sessions. She also has a condition cro um, called Crohn disease for people who don't know what it is. It's an inflammation of the small intestine. Yeah, Mainly the condition is on the right um, iliac fossa, this area of the, of the pelvis. And what I treat at the time was mainly the area where the vagus nerve come out from the skull. So basically I was placing my hand over the head and another one on the top of the thoracic spine. I did an alignment there, the neck was improving and she felt better since. Now she's coming for another condition. So basically what's going on? You have a pain yeah. on the... So for the last couple of months, I've been experiencing pain I've kind of the back of my neck and my shoulder. Mm. Um, so it's on and off. So sometimes I feel it later in the day, especially if I've been sitting in a position a long time. So I'm not sure what the underlying cause is and what's triggered it. Um, but yeah, so it seems to be a recurring pain. Okay. Do you think you have a good mobility of the shoulder? Yes. So I if you can... If you, can yeah. You, yeah. I, I think and I can, this one? Yeah, I think I, I can move it. But so even if I put my arm here, I can feel a slight tension there. That's I can't feel on the other side. So okay. I can feel a slight pull there. Let, let me do some tests. Just. You feel a difference when I do it here and here. Mm. This side is completely different than this one. Mm -hmm. You feel the end of range. This is more elastic. Yeah. This is more stuck. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. And this one more or less the same, yeah? Mm -hmm. So the internal and external rotation, the range of motion, you can write it down, it's completely full, but is the, the end of the range, which feel a little bit stiff. Now, quite important is the mobility of the neck. Can you do this kind of movement? Okay, the other one. What do you feel? Which side is more stiff? Obviously, I can, this side is obviously more stiff because I can feel when I move my you, head. It pulls a little, yeah. Pull okay, on a side? Again, I can feel a lot more pull when even okay. when I... Now, do it again. And the other one? I think there's a lot more movement on when I move it to the right than when I move it. To the okay, so yeah. you feel a difference. Yeah. Whatever is the difference, it shouldn't be there. So... Now we need to understand what's caused the difference. I already know because I checked. At the time when, the, when we had two sessions, I already known was what, what was left to treat. And then for some reason, because she was busy, etc., we, we didn't met um, until now. Uh, today, uh, also because the pain was improving, so probably she didn't mm. had a lot of trouble since. But now recently she was complaining this, this shoulder and Let's have a look on it, okay? Please lie on your back with the head here. Okay, the tests that we can do are very easy. First of all, she had a problem on the ITB. So you just find the tendon, you push a little bit on it, and you compare with the other one. The painful one was the right. In fact, the right is still a little bit more tender than the other one. Mm. I already know what's going on because she had an operation. You had an operation on the teeth here. Yeah. Probably they, they changed something on the bone to, mm. to, to make them a little bit more straight. So a big operation on the mouth, on the top, yeah? Yeah. On the yes. top. Let's check how the pelvis moves. I place my hand here. I push it down. I hope you can see there is a rotation, yeah? It moves quite well. The other side is completely different. You feel, mm, yeah? Yeah. It's more stiff. Is it true she also suffers from uh, Crohn's disease, which is an inflammation on this area of the small intestine, intestine, but 
if there was a if there was still um, if she was still under the influence of the vagus nerve the neck would be a lot more uh, solid and she definitely has a quite good mobility do you feel the the inflammation the the, the pain from it do you do you still feel it or you uh, feel um, it no it's a lot better now so it's i i hardly get the pain down there it's only minimal okay okay so when a patient come and say uh, i have a crown definitely i check this area so what i what i did with her was basically lift a little bit your head relax was to check the side flexion of the neck which more frequently for some reason this nerve come from the skull uh, from some reason frequently i found this area more stiff so the left side flexion of the neck usually is a little bit more uh, stiff than the other one nothing has to do with it today i don't need any intervention for the for the crown and uh, and so for the vagus nerve, because I already checked on the scalp, there is a big problem on the maxilla. How frequent is this problem? Very, very frequent. So I found this condition in many, many people. What do I feel from here? So the scalp is doing a kind of torsion like that. So people, for example, who train themselves in craniosacral therapy, probably they know what I'm, what I'm saying. There is a, a twist around this area but if i go here on the cheek let's say the zygomatic bone or the maxilla and the and the jaw i feel something very peculiar so the right the right side is completely still it doesn't move at all the other side try to compensate so those two bones usually the maxilla does some movement like that, the jaw uh, rotate internally, externally, and so you, f you should feel a coupling of movement in between them. One part is still, it doesn't move, and the other part obviously creates a torsion. Create a torsion, if I touch the, the tissue around one side and the other side, they are completely different. This side is more soft on the left, the, the right is more tender. The side bending here, you feel the difference, yeah? Mm -hmm. This one is more tender than this one. So on the right, still differences. And obviously this will have a, some kind of... Uh, will create some kind of change on the shoulder itself. Try to feel this one and this. You feel how yeah. harder. Yeah. Now, the range of motion was completely full. What was important, what is important here, is to understand why the end of range is completely blocked. So good range of motion, so it's not a very, very big condition, but lots of people have much more pain than what she described with similar um, range of motion. So almost full range of motion, but the end of the range is completely stuck. In fact, if I try to move a shoulder here and here, it's completely different. All, all the shoulder girdle, as, as they call it, is completely different. Um, the collarbone or clavicle moves differently. Left and right, you feel how hard that it is. Mm -hmm. This side is more, it's more soft. So I already know, I already checked. It's definitely this part of the body which affects everything, even the, even the pelvis. The pelvis, I can also show you how moves when I lift it. This is the left. You feel the difference? Mm, it, it, it doesn't, yeah. Mm -hmm. I will need to stay here for a while. I will do some, let's say, alignment, if you like it. Alignment, and let's see how it goes at the end. She also has uh, a jaw that clicks, and she feel a kind of uh, stiffness, heaviness, on, mainly on the right of the jaw. Yeah?
Take a deep breath. I am a little bit more comfortable on the other way around. Lift a little bit, okay? So occipital bone and the maxilla, like that. I will stay like that. It may take a while. She won't feel anything. When the area will be released, I'm sure there will be a difference here on the pelvis, basically everywhere, but it will be felt more on the shoulder. So the end or range of the shoulder has to be a lot more soft than now. And the heaviness on the pelvis, right side, it should improve. So this ITB, which he was complaining before, was also caused by this couple of injury. Vagus nerve plus maxilla. So I expect then not only the shoulder will improve, but there will be also another step forward for the ITB, which has improved since then. Okay, I didn't see her for at least seven, eight months. She's been good since then. I just finished the treatment. It was a little bit long because on top of the jaw, I had to treat the neck. Now, there is a, a reason why the jaw and the neck can be connected on the same injury because all the skull receive the innervation from the trigeminal nerve. So it gives all the innervation. Uh, let's say if you if you have an operation, definitely you irritate the trigeminal nerve, and the trigeminal nerve receive uh, innervation. So it starts. It has some what the anatomy is called nuclei from the the top of the neck. So there was a big impingement around C2 C3. I just finished the treatment. The jaw was okay, but. Still something was wrong. Now I just checked here and here. Let's do the test again. Can you put your hand? Yeah, just relax. Let that. Okay. It's much softer than mine. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. so basically, neck, what happened? Impingement, C2, C3, the vertebrae never, never stick like that, straight. They always have a little bit of torsion. So the body was twisting a lot. There was a big restriction here. And because the misalignment here, there was tension on the ITB. The ITB, nothing had to do with the, with the, um, with the condition. Just a misalignment was stretching a little bit this muscle, which now, I mean, is unbelievably different. Yeah. This part made a change. Now, what, uh, sh what she was complaining for was mainly uh, at this stage was the shoulder. Just relax. Okay. Soft, yeah. Let's check. If you stand, so the range of motion was, was complete, was full, but the end of the range was a little bit stuck. Let's see if still like that. It's much better now. Yeah, yeah. it's better. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There may be a slight, 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 slight difference, but it's... it's yeah, you can tell it's... it's you you can tell it yeah. is different. Okay. So the problem was here and there was here. They can be connected because she doesn't recall any injury on the head. So if you bang your head, frequently you injure also the, the neck. And she didn't recall any car accident that usually gives trouble on the neck. So it can be an irritation from the operation. Operation, irritation on the nuclear of the trigeminal nerve, it can be a connection. Definitely big difference after the, the, the treatment here. So to treat the jaw, it wasn't enough 